Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to implement the swipe or drag down refresh functionality in our Android app and we will be using the swipe refresh layout for that purpose. So let's begin. We will create a new project, MT1 and name this app say for example, swipe refresh app and click finish. Wait for my environment to load. Once the environment loads, I will start the emulator in parallel so that it can load the app on the right hand side. In the main uh, uh, window, we will start our programming. First and foremost, we will do some implementation so that we can include the required uh, library. So just type implementation of Android X dot swipe refresh layout 1.1.0 sorry okay so once you have done it don't forget to sync now otherwise uh, the libraries won't get included or sync in your particular uh, environment for the project and once the environment gets uh, synced up we'll come to the layout by default i think here they have loaded the constant layout so we'll change this we'll make it as refresh layout so we'll change this constant layout to uh, swipe refresh layout but before that what I'll do is I'll just copy paste this and keep it somewhere probably here and we'll see what we'll do with this one later no, no, no. I think over here yeah like this and I think it's automatically closing it but I don't think we need a closure but for the timing I'll just uh, leave it uh, uh, leave this here and I'll uh, start including something called something called swipe refresh layout so the moment I type uh, HW is giving me an option so I'll just click on this so that it can include that and it's asking for width and height but I don't think we'll need width and height because that's already included so what I'll do is I'll just cut this line control X and I think I have to remove this part because the constant layout part is still coming up perfect and I will come here and I will probably give the width and height as an attribute to the constant layout which we are defined, trying to define here and over here I will give it as equal to match parent my width and height so control C control V and control V and also I will try to close this yes so but this closure will go at the end over here at the last and most likely we will we will remove this and bring this control x over here also we may have to append this width and height with the android over here so yeah i think if you notice that's a complete correct so yeah android over here as well so once we have done it if you notice all the errors have gone you can select the complete file and press Ctrl Alt I to make sure that the indentation is correct and that's all. We can come to the design view quickly and see how it appears or how it looks like. So we can see the swipe refresh layout is on the top now and constant layout is under that uh, like a child. And then we can add our widgets over here in the constant layout the way we do it for all. Why we didn't do directly on, the swipe, uh, on this design view is because I don't think even if we include it in the Gradle file the swipe refresh layout it appears in the design view by default so we have to do it in the xml code over here that's the reason okay so once we have done it i think i will not need text view over here or probably i can keep text view as well but i like to include something called web view yeah and before i include web view let me do one thing let me create some space for web view i'm just making it bigger yeah so what i'll do is probably i'll push the text view on the top and bring the web view somewhere over here bottom just below the web view and then give the right constraints probably i'll first pull the web view a little bit up and i'll give the other constraint for this which is this one yeah perfect so once we have it then i think from layout perspective we're done we have to just give the ids required ids so what we'll do is we'll give web view as the id for the web view for text view is text view anyway it's given Constant layout we don't need. I don't. I think we'll anyway uh, will not need constant layout in our Java code. But yeah, we'll definitely need some ID for our refresh layout. So I'm giving 
swipe refresh layout as the ID which because we will require this to access the refresh layout from our Java code. So in the Java code now, first and foremost, I will create quickly new class variable. One will be I think for text view. Similarly, I will do it for get view. And then one was the swipe refresh layout. Swipe refresh layout. Perfect. And in the on create method, first and foremost, I will assign this uh, variables the right widget id so for text view it will be text view in the find view by id similarly for web view it will be find view by id r dot id dot web view and what else swipe refresh layout will be similarly find view by id r dot id dot swipe refresh layout perfect so assuming that all these local variables are associated with the right widget in my layout now what we can do we will set some default value in all these things like text view we can set some default value which is like um, app started uh, but not I, I think just started I will say okay uh, or, or probably I can change this to not refreshed so that it's very clearly uh, uh, understood that what is the status value of the text view Similarly, in web view, we can set uh, or load our URL, but before that, I will make sure that we set it as our web client. So, new web client, perfect. And also, I'll make sure that I set the Java, JavaScript settings. So, for that, first, I'll get settings and then set JavaScripts enabled. That will be, of course, true. And what else? Also, we will need to set, of first, of course, get settings. And then set Java scripts open window automatically. This also true. Yeah. So once we have the JavaScript settings done, then we can load our URL into this. So I'll say load URL. And most likely I'll go with loading my homepage URL, which is programmerworld.co. So that's all is what I think. So I think uh, the moment uh, our app loads. The text view should show this particular text and uh, web view should load my home page of my uh, website. And now we can implement the swipe refresh layout. So over here what we will do is we can set the on refresh listener. Perfect. And in this we can define new swipe refresh listener on refresh. And this is a method where we can define what we want to do when the refresh happens. But before we do anything. What we will do is we will first define swipe refresh layout, set refreshing as false because the moment this is done, this activity is done over here, whatever we are going to define, it should refresh false otherwise it will keep on rotating and in this one what we will do is we will set our web view to say for example uh, load URL and probably I will repeat this whatever I have loaded, I uh, will load that uh, again because in between I will change it to some other uh, path in my website and then try to see if it comes back to my home page or not by uh, this line number 37 also as a safe check what i'll do is i'll also put this text view and in this time i'll change the message as app is refreshed yeah something like that that's all is what i think let me restart my app into the emulator and see how it comes up so app is loading So I'm expecting that by default my web view should contain my URL. It didn't come up, web page not available and I think the reason for that is I have not given the access for internet in my manifest file. So let me go to the manifest file and give users permission internet to it and then restart the app and let's see if it works this time. And if you notice, okay, it went off, but if you notice this not refresh was coming up in the text view. So yeah, not refresh is coming in the text view and my web view is almost over here. So yeah, my home page is coming. Welcome to programmer world. Now let me refresh and see how it comes up. So I'm refreshing it. So it says app is refreshed and my home page is refreshed. Okay, so before home page, I should have gone to some other page. Say for example, I'm going to Android page over here. So no, it's Android page. It's not a home page over here. It's an Android. But if I refresh my complete uh, app, I'm expecting it will it says app is refreshed in the text view and it changed to my home page that is because of line number 36. So that's all I wanted to show you. It's pretty simple. You have to just set the uh, listener correct list, listener over here. 
and uh, on refresh listener and once you have set it then you can implement your whatever the uh, first set you want to implement in the on refresh method here and uh, if a user tracks and drops down anywhere in the app uh, because this layout is all over that those activities will be done refreshed and uh, don't forget to give line number 38 because otherwise uh, it will not stop i mean that refreshing thing so that's important so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye